Chris, you ready? Ah, there you are. Oh, nice little climb that. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Chris, aka The Bear, who is the guide around here. You're gonna see a little bit more of him very shortly. We've got some exciting news to share. And you're gonna take me for a little rip. We've got a couple hours of daylight left. Let's do the H&I Classic lunchtime ride. There's a really nice jump line in the woods here. It's really flowy, there's some berms, some step down, a feature where you actually jump onto a tabletop then jump back off it. A good size gap jump, and I'm here with Ross Bell, photographer as well. He shoots on the World Cup circuit, he's really well renowned, and hopefully we're gonna get some cool shots. The sun is actually coming in and out of the clouds and it's creating this really golden atmosphere in the forest. It's looking absolutely stunning. And this is kind of going to be a little bit behind the scenes sort of thing of what goes into a photo shoot. So let's see what we can get. We've got the man himself, Ross Bell. We've got some pretty cool snaps already today and I figured it would be a really good opportunity for you to share just a few tips that everyone can learn to actually better their photography. Yeah, sure. I think number one, the most important thing is definitely just experiment, uh, learn your equipment and uh, just keep, keep improving. Two, I think light is crucial as well. So pay attention to the time of day you're shooting, early morning, late night, that's always, always a winner. Composition as well, so where you're framing the rider and the action. That's pretty key as well, the result of the image is super, super interesting. But and you can actually can check it. out some of the images that you just got in that little sequence that we're shooting there. There's some really nice ones, so nice yep. one dude, thanks for that. Super fun little trail there, fast flowy, a few drops, some straight lines, you could really carry speed, nice little rip with you. But since you're here, I figured it'd be a great opportunity to get some guides tips from the head guide at h and I. Secrets of the trade. Exactly. Mm. Check your bike and look after it. You know yep. it's in good fettle before you head out. Look at weather forecasts, don't get caught out. Always pack spare layers, don't get cold. And uh, spares. Don't rely on others to be fixing your bike and carrying tubes for you. Yeah, I've definitely been caught out on layers, not having enough food, and not having any inner tubes, but it does happen. Right, next trail, what's it like? Fun, fast, flowy, some nice little tight corners, couple of drops, after you. Sounds good.
make a coffee then? Already on it. So I write it here to Logan yeah. to keep trying yeah. find it. It's always so nice when you guys come up and actually say hello, share a high five, take a selfie, whatever it is. And the bear who we've just been riding with has got a friend whose birthday it was. He just turned 13, Logan McLennan. He's a local rider in his community. He does a bit of trail building. So H and I have given us a jersey, signed that to Logan, keep shredding. And yeah, the bear can pass this over to him. And uh, if you ever see me in the trail, do say hello. Love it when you guys say it. So they've got a small workshop set up. It's pretty neat in here. You've got Chris on the tools right there. So if you do come as a guest, you can get your bike all prepped, built up properly before you hit the trails. Pretty neat. So you might recognize this photo right here. Pretty stoked to see it in a full canvas print. This is a shot that we got in Squamish. We went on a trip with h and last year to British Columbia. Ross Bell snapped this one. Probably one of my favorites. Just sort of love the composition of it. All the colors are green. A little bit of style from me there. And then you've got the tree out of focus. Really, really nice and cool to see it blown up properly. Okay, pretty cool walking up the stairs. There's a signed jersey here. You've got Matt Miles, Matty Hunter. Uh, I think that's Thomas Vanderham, Sterling Lawrence. Yeah, really cool that. That's a trip that they went to on Chile. So yeah, nice to see that. We've now come up to the office where the magic happens and the first desk that we're going to stop at is Ross Bell who's editing some photos from a shoot we did yesterday. Not looking too bad, eh? Yeah. yeah some, funny, some funny faces being pulled there. So down here is where if you make a booking all the magic has happened. They'll take calls, answer emails, start to book flights. And that's exactly what we're about to do for an up and coming project. So I'm going to sit down and we're going to have a small meeting. All right, so that was a day here at the H&I headquarters somewhere near Inverness. Really fun actually coming and seeing their whole setup here. It's so professional. And a big thank you to the bear for guiding in the trails, Ross for taking those photos. And someone that you can't see is Douglas, who's been behind the camera shooting all day. And we've got some really, really nice shots. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Stay tuned for the news that is coming because we've been working on this for the last couple of months and I'm excited to share it with you. It's gonna be absolutely epic. I mean, you're not picking Ross in first class. Ross is in first class. This is my ah, okay, flight, uh, yeah. booking. Yeah, yeah. First class or good office chair. Or nothing. <laughs>